this video, we're going to create a multi-purpose form in Google Sheets that allows us to submit records, search records from a data set, update records, and delete records from a data set. So what you see here is a preview of what we're going to build today. I have a search form with buttons that perform actions. And on the second tab, I have a data set of employee records. And if I want to input a new employee, I can do so here. Hit submit and we should see this record get added to the bottom of our employee records tab. So I'll hit submit and this record gets added. I can also search on existing records. So I can just type in an employee ID number, click search. This will pull up an existing record. I can make updates to that record if I want. So this person transferred to IT. I can simply update the department and what we should see is this record here changed to IT. So I'll click update and there it is. So we'll get started here. So on a blank sheet, we're gonna rename this form. We're gonna select all the cells. We're going to shade everything a light blue. In every other row, select these cells and then choose all borders. I'm going to select these four cells here, change this to a darker fill. And while they're still selected, I'm going to change the text color to white. select these four cells here which are going to be our input cells I'm going to change that back to the default no color I'm going to select our entire spreadsheet again and go to view and remove the grid lines what I'm also going to do is insert a drop down list here for the departments so I'm going to go up to data and then data validation i'm going to select list of items so we have our department names separated by a comma i'm going to select this cell for the higher date go up to data validation again this time we just want to make this a date so now what we're going to do is just add some buttons to the right which we will eventually link our scripts to to perform actions so i'm going to go up to insert drawing going to select shapes and then just a rectangle I don't want to repeat this uh, multiple times so I'm gonna at this point fast forward and just have all these other four buttons added here so now that we have our buttons created we want to begin writing code in app script and link that code to our buttons to perform actions first thing we're going to deal with is this submit button so i'm going to go to tools and then script editor now the first thing that will pop up here is try the new editor i'm going to close out of this because i prefer the old one we're going to name our project entry form 
and I'm going to rename this first function submit. Now to save time, I'm going to go ahead and just drop code I've already created in here. So the first thing we need to define are some variables. We have one called SS, which represents the spreadsheet we're in now. That's just the spreadsheet application, get active spreadsheet. Below that, we have two variables that represent our two sheets, one for form sheet and another for our record sheet. So that is just our spreadsheet variable and then get sheet by name and get the respective sheet names. After that, we have an array variable called data and this variable stores all of the input cells from our form sheet in an array. So when you're defining an array in Google Sheets, those are enclosed in brackets. So since we have two sets of brackets here, that means this is a two-dimensional array. The outer brackets represent a collection of rows, and the inner bracket represents a single row. So what we actually have here is one row of data with four columns, and each of our elements are separated by a comma here. And one element is a reference to the form sheet and then get range B2, which is our first input cell, and get that value. And same thing for these other three elements here. So finally, we have our record sheet and another get range, but this time we have a two-dimensional get range and what we're trying to do here is get the first blank row below our data. So right now that would be row eight. So our first input of this get range is our beginning row point. So we're referencing our record sheet, get the last row. This will get the last row containing data, which is row seven as of right now. We add one to that to get to the first blank row below that. So that gets us to row eight dynamically. The next input is our column begin point. We want to begin in column one. The next input is how many rows are we going to have in this range? Well, we're going to have one because our data variable is one row. The next input is how many columns we have. We're going to have four columns because we have four elements to our data variable. And then finally, we have set the values of this get range, which is our first blank row on our record sheet. And what do we want to set it to? We want to set it to the data elements stored in our data variable, which are, they are our form input cells. So I'm going to hit save here. We're going to go back to our form sheet. I'm going to click on the submit button, click this right options box, assign script. We're going to assign our submit function to it. Click OK. I'm going to add a new record here. And when I hit submit this first time, we're going to get an authorization required prompt. Now this, you'll get this when you first create a script in your project window. So just click continue, click the Google account you're currently using, go to advanced, scroll down to your project name at the bottom, and then scroll down to allow. So we'll have to hit submit one more time to make it run again after that. And what we should see on our records now is this Jim Wilkes added to the bottom of our records, and it is. So now we want to add a script to our second button, clear. So I'm going to go back to our script window. Below our first function, we're going to add a new function called clear. And like with the previous function, we're going to 
have our spreadsheet variable and then our form sheet. And that is the only sheet we need a variable for because what this function will do is clear out the values in our input cells. So our next variable we have is called clear cells and it is an array variable but this time it's a one-dimensional array and it just contains the cell references on our form sheet that we want to clear out. So we want to clear out these cells one by one so we want to repeat this step four times so what we're going to use is a for loop um, for loop repeats a series of steps based on a beginning and ending point you specify so it begins with the keyword for we begin with a variable a counter variable uh, most folks use just the letter i as that variable it stands for iterator and we set that equal to zero and the reason we set that to zero is when you're looping or counting array elements in the script editor the count actually begins at zero so in this clear cells array this is the first element it actually is zero this is one this is two this is three so that is our starting point next we have our ending point and we want this to be dynamic so we have our counter variable we want this loop to run until our counter variable is no longer less than the length of our clear cells array so the minute that counter counts to anything above three this loop discontinues from running next we have the increments we want our counter to count in we have our counter variable again and then plus plus telling it to increment in value of one inside these curly brackets here we have the action we want to perform during this loop we have a reference to our form sheet we have get range and then we have our clear cells array here and right after that we have curly brackets I'm sorry not curly brackets regular brackets and our counter variable and what this is saying is okay anytime you have an array with brackets after it that is telling the script editor I want to get to a single element in that array and this begins at the first iteration so this I would be set to zero which would give us our first element so we would get the range out of our clear cells array b2 because that's our first element and this would clear the content that would be the first iteration of this loop it would then go back up change our counter from zero to one that would change to b4 down here clear the content and repeat until we're all the way to our last element so we're done here with this the only other thing I want to do is copy this and add this to the end of our submit function because after we submit records going forward I want to clear out the contents of our input cell so I'm gonna hit save we're gonna go back to our form I'm gonna click in our clear assign a script assign the clear script we just created click OK and then when I click this we should see this these records clear out and they do so I'm gonna add another record here hit submit and when we add this new record these re these input cells should clear out and they do and so we get a new record there at the bottom.